Hello and good day. This is Fun Facts presents the 1956 Chevy 3100 Stepside. It is a 50s classic truck and this is the second generation that was built production years 1955 through 1959. <clears throat> I'm excited. I hope you're excited and let's get started now. All right, the 1956 Chevrolet 3100 pick up. The 1956 Chevrolet 3100 series stepside half ton pickup was a carryover from the ever popular and new for 1955 model lineup light duty pickup with only very minor changes, probably not even noticeable to the average person. This beautifully restored step side is a typical of what the factory produced for the light truck buyer who was usually a rural American farmer or the trades worker and used the truck for utilitarian purposes. Chevrolet trucks built for Americans who built America. Most revisions were cosmetic, but this was the year Chevrolet made tubeless tires standard throughout the line. Along with the numeric series designations, trucks with manual transmissions proclaimed simply Chevrolet. Those with automatic said Chevrolet Hydromatic. Vehicles with the eight-cylinder engine continued the V8 badge below the series spear, plus a V on the revised hood emblem. The Cameo came in eight two-tone combinations for 1956, with a Arabian ivory base. You could specify ocean green, empire blue, regal blue, crystal blue, cardinal red, or granite gray. With a cardinal red base, the trim option was sand beige. With a jet black base, the trim color was golden yellow, very striking. Interior colors were also expanded for 1956. Combinations included red beige, dark blue, light blue, light green, gray, and charcoal with all colors. Cameo knobs were again chrome with other models got black knobs. Cameo wheel covers were the same as those used on the 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. Chevrolet's big news for the 1956 though had to do with the small block V8, the four barrel 265 now delivered 205 bhp but this top version of the v8 was available only in chevrolet passenger cars even so to the underscore the small blocks performance and enhanced the pickup sporty nature chevrolet had racing mechanic and engine builder smoky unit set up a cameo with a four barrel v8 for Daytona Speed Weeks. Smokey not only tweaked the Cameo's non-production V8, but also drove it at the beach. With the heavily modified engine, he managed to set a new Class 5 record for standing mile acceleration, 89.524 miles per hour. A Cameo also took honors at Daytona that year through the flying mile, but apparently no records exist of the driver, modifications, or speed. Motor Trend, meanwhile, did a quick test of the McCullough Supercharged 1956 Cameo and published a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 8.7 seconds and a run through the quarter mile in 17.6 seconds. Still, there was more power on tap for every workday Chevy light duty truck. A 
compression boost to eight to one help the six harnesses, 17 additional horses, 140 total, and the 265 V8 was shown at 155 horsepower through compression was still advertised at 7.5 to one. Chevrolet trucks were more radically changed for 1957 than they did been for the 1956. For the 1957 season, Chevy offered a 4x4 option in a dozen 3100, 3600, and 3800 models. The division also introduced the 283 cubic inch V8, a bored out version of the 265, and its use was restricted to the car based sedan delivery and several medium and heavy duty truck series. Light duty engine and transmission choices stayed unchanged, though sales materials listed the Trademaster V8 as having an eight to one compression ratio. Okay, well that brings us to the end of our narration. And if you have stayed this far into the video, thank you very much for taking the time out to watch our video. Please enjoy the rest of the slides. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we're going to be doing all the truck series to come. And we'll look forward to seeing you when we upload our next video. Thank you. Have a great day.